The graphic video posted to social media on Wednesday is just another reminder for Darwin Fishman that there is still more work needed in terms of curbing police brutality. Fishman is part of the Racial Justice Coalition of San Diego. He was on the Citizens Committee that drafted the de-escalation policy for the San Diego Police Department. Now, you know, four or five years later, we're supposed to have the de-escalation, and not just for San Diego City, but all the cities and the county and the region, and it's clearly it's not working. We're still getting really horrific incidents of excessive force by our law enforcement. National City Police Department says the incident happened around 9.30 Sunday morning near East 17th Street and National City Boulevard. The incident started off as a car chase that became a foot chase and ended right here in front of this Cars Plus, where you can see an officer appearing to slam the woman down and another one appearing to hit her twice before taking her into custody. One of their officers assisted SDPD in the arrest. In a statement, San Diego Police Department says it understands the community concerns and that the incident is being investigated by internal affairs to see if proper procedure was followed. Use of force expert and former law enforcement officer Paul Capitelli says the public should reserve judgment until all the facts come out. There's a possibility that she could have threatened the officers. Maybe she was fighting the officers. She may have even tried to hit or kick an officer. Uh, we don't know because all we're seeing is where the video starts, where she's being uh, thrown onto the ground and handcuffed. Capitelli says sometimes use of force is justified, but he can't make a determination until more footage is released. But Fishman says until there are real consequences for law enforcement, incidents such as this will continue to happen. And that's fundamental for the community trust. Otherwise, the community, we feel like we're being hunted. SDPD says it's not commenting further on the arrest until the investigation is completed. Alexander Nguyen, KPPS News.